decided when we started the Inspiring Impact program that we needed to engage uh, a number of partners in a long-term program because what we were really hoping to do was to help the whole field, the whole charity sector in the UK to make progress and we realised that in order to do that we needed to have a broad coalition that represented the sector rather than any one organisation's view. In the past I think it's been possible for charities and social enterprises to feel confused by all the different guidance that's out there on impact measurement and what we wanted to do was to bring much of that together so that we could establish some common principles and some common guidance that would really help organisations to move forward. We decided we needed a 10-year programme because we also believe that this kind of change in how the whole sector operates and really raising the standard of impact measurement across the sector is something that's going to take time. It takes any one organisation maybe three to five years to really embed measurement and impact practice to be useful and we're trying to change the whole field so it was always going to be a long-term endeavour. The main drivers in engaging all the different partners for Inspiring Impact have, have really been to understand uh, what the needs of the different groups are that they represent. So for example, the Association of Charitable Foundations represents grant making funders in the UK and they have an interest in strengthening the organisations they support and also in getting better information and reporting to understand their impact better. If we were able to address that, then we're able to engage that community. The same goes for all of the other partners that really knowing uh, what non-profits, what social enterprises and charities needs are allows us to, to have those organisations that represent them to really work with us to help uh, the organisations that they represent. So three years from the beginning of the Inspiring Impact programme the really key drivers to helping us to maintain focus and momentum have been to, to produce really concrete practical tools that now are out there in the field and now we, we can really encourage people to, to pick up and use. There was a fear I think among some that we might just create another talking shop, we might just talk and talk about impact measurement and so for us it's been very important to produce concrete guidance to produce web-based tools that now thousands of organisations are using and starting to feed back to us. And with the information about how those tools and guidance is being used, we can talk to funders and potential funders about the programme and encourage them to continue to support and to really come on board and help us take the programme forward for the next uh, seven years. Funders play a really interesting role in, in Inspiring Impact generally because of their importance in, uh, in creating the incentives for impact practice but also because they deliver the resource that allows impact measurement and impact practice to happen. So funders both develop the, the guidance and the processes that lead organisations to, to work in certain ways or to gather certain types of information but they also potentially provide the resource to help organisations to do what it is they need to do to embed impact practice. And so recognising that kind of dual role has been really critical for us. And finally, they also have to fund the programme. So none of this happens for free uh, and we need resource to be able to develop tools and guidance, bring people together and to continue on this long-term programme.